can make more noise than that. Yeah, good audience. Erie, by God, Pennsylvania. Thanks for coming out tonight and supporting local comedy. It is very important to support local comedy. It's very important to support these guys at FUBAR and what they're doing. So let's give them a hand. Also, let's hear it for the comics that you've heard all tonight. They did all of that work and I got all the applause. Oh, it tastes so good. So I got married this year. Uh -huh. Anyone with $250 in a case card can get married. <laughs> Settle down. You're going better than six months. <laughs> uh, don't make me start with you, buddy. <laughs> That's the easy part is finding someone to get married to. You know, you just click, you just know. When you're in love, you know. But everything else is difficult. The flowers, the guest list, the cake. Like, get this. I picked my cake design out online, sent it to them, and they called me on the phone. Like it's not 2008. Who calls? <laughs> anybody on the phone anymore. Like when my phone rings, I answer it like a trivia question. I'm like, hello? <laughs> and they're like, Mr. Clemente, that's me. We got your design in and we wanted to know, did you want your cake to say anything? Well, it's not up to me. Uh, so I said, honey, uh, do we want a talking cake <laughs> or no? <laughs> So it's my second marriage. I was divorced uh, before that. Um, and it happens. You know, you grow apart as people. Like I started taking yoga and she turned her vagina into a rena center. <laughs> you just grow apart. <laughs> and you start getting weird. Like when you're going through this huge emotional thing and you go through a divorce, you start, you don't act rationally. Like I remember one night I was sleeping on the couch and I got up, I heard noises, and I got up and I'm looking around and she's like, what are you doing? Why are you up? And I was like, what's that noise? She goes, that's just the house settling. I was like, you too, house? I bought you those nice curtains from Target. And that's how you treat me. <sighs> so you have a lot more time. I'm gonna move this so you guys can see me some more. So you have more time. I got a job as a pizza delivery guy. Like I didn't have any neck tattoos, but my resume was pretty good. <laughs> and the place, my very first day, I had the two weirdest experiences there. The first one, I answer the phone because when it rings, you pick it up and that's how they sell pizza. Just for anyone that hasn't worked at a pizza place before. And they're like, can I get one? Plain pizza, please. I said, absolutely, just cheese then? They go, no, 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 no cheese. No cheese, so just sauce? Oh, no sauce. <laughs> so just bread? And I just heard a bunch of quacking on the other end. It was like, quack, 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 it worked. <laughs> that joke's for me. I tell that for me. I know it's not funny. The second one ever was my grandpa, which you may think was sweet, but it ended up being one of the weirdest deliveries I ever made. He was, got the pizza and he's helping me out, you know. So I went over to his place. I was there an hour. He insisted on paying me in quarters he found behind my ear. <laughs> then he told me not to tell my mom. And I was like, you know what? My ears, my quarters, Pop Pop. What's my last joke? And I remember, Dave, can I get a picture of you taking a picture of me? I want to remember this for you. <laughs> I'm going to have to time this. All right, let's make it happen. Oh, man. My mom's going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I remember dating and finding this girl at Wegmans. You guys have a Wegmans here, right? Yeah. 
Everyone at Wegmans, everyone that works there is absolutely beautiful. I don't know where they get them from. If you disagree with me, go to my Wegmans. It's beautiful. So I was this cashier. I was kept coming up to her, kept coming up to her. In like the most non stalkerish way. And I was buying things and going through her line with like soap and water, like I was gonna impress her that I drank water and took showers. And so the day was the day. I was getting all psyched up. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna ask her, see what she's doing. The worst she can say is no, yeah, I've been out of the game, but you know, whatever. Okay, we'll do it. So I put everything on the belt and she brings it out. She had a six pack of beer. Water, soap, like I'm going to impress her that I'm buying a lot of soap. Some bread, some eggs, and she rings them all up. And just when I was about to say something, she goes, you know, I can tell that you're single. So I said, uh, 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 I said, 